Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you can tell, we are in my basement office. So I had to go out of town for a while when my mom got surgery. I was down helping to take care of her, driving her to appointments and all that stuff. But while I was gone, we got this crazy storm at home and it rained like five inches overnight. It overwhelmed our sump pump and our basement flooded. This is the first time this has ever happened. So it was a shock in the morning, I guess, when they came down and saw it, but they did like a really good job getting it dried up and fanning it off and everything, but like it's destroyed. So I'm gonna show it to you in just a second. But basically, like I have to put it back together, but like I was thinking about it and I just kind of wanna fix it. I just kind of wanna redecorate down here, redo some stuff since some stuff got kind of ruined. It's just making me rethink like office design and what I want it to look like and feel like. Also, I have noticed that I just have a lot of stuff that I'd probably like to get rid of. So we're gonna do some purging, reorganizing, redecorating. This is going to happen over multiple days. There's no way I can get this all done today. I'm going to start with some cleaning and organizing today and then we'll move on to maybe some shopping and some design. Sorry about the air conditioning. It's too hot for me to turn it off. So I'm going to go ahead and flip you around and show you what exactly we're working with. So if you saw my office tour, you know that this is an unfinished basement and I have like this half is my office, this half is like workout. As you can see, we aired out this rug. The other rug that was on top of it is over here. I'm pretty sure we're just gonna get rid of that one. I think it's kind of ruined. Never mind the lights, sorry. I wanted the lighting to be decent. Um, I have an entire like pile of fabrics that I don't need them all. I save them because I'm a hoarder, let's be real. My island had to be moved because of the flooding. And then, like I have a general mess in here as well. As you can see, we had my school, my kids' school papers were actually underneath the desk right here. And we've never had a flood before, so I never thought about it, but my sons were on the bottom and his box that was like this got completely ruined. So we had to take all of his papers out dry them all out. They've all got water damage now. And then all this stuff needs to get cleaned up and put away. Again, I'm going to go through all this stuff and figure out my shelves because I want this to look nice as a backdrop for filming too. And this looks like it's just too much um, and I'm not really liking it. Projects that I've had to do in the middle of all of this stuff. So that needs to get cleaned up. And then the one thing that got ruined that upset me was I have this photo book and look at it. It got, it got ruined and moldy. So I need to reorder that, but it's fine. It's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Also my wallpaper that was wrapping paper that was meant to be a backdrop and like cover the foil. Um, insulation is all falling down from the flooding. So I don't know. I just need to take care of it, clean it up, get it organized. And we're going to do some different decor because I'm over all of this. So I'm going to start with easy things first or things that I at least know that I want to go through. So I'm going to start with this shelf because there's a couple of boxes I know that I just need to go through and purge, reorganize. I find that I have become complacent in some of these um, like boxes and storage things or whatever. And that's just because like, I know there's a problem with it and I don't wanna deal with it. So a lot of this is literally just going to be like putting things back where they belong. Moving on to my ribbon storage, these containers worked really well for me for a while, but as you can see, they have gotten out of hand. And as I use my ribbon, I am obviously too lazy to put things back the way they're supposed to be. So we're going to come up with a different way to store these.
Okay guys, I've been working for, I don't know, it's probably been two hours, but I, for some reason, am exhausted. Like, I know part of it's just because I've been getting up early this week for my son's golf tryouts and then my daughter has camp, but like, I'm unreasonably tired right now, so I'm probably going to quit at least for a little while for today and maybe all of today. Let's be real because I'm tired. I don't know what to say. I want to show you really fast what I've done. It's not enough. I realize, but I'll get back to it tomorrow, but real fast. So I switched my ribbons out of these. These were like up here originally. And whenever I make videos like facing this, like you can see the ribbons coming out of here. So it was kind of driving me crazy. Plus they kept getting super messy, which is a lot. So I like rewrapped them on their spools and pinned all of them so they weren't loose. And then I color coordinated and you can tell which colors I obviously like the most, which is blue and pink. You need a few more reds and stuff, but I did like color coordinated for like the solids and then my multicolored ones are back here. I have some loose ribbons that are not on spools and some tulle and some twine. And I'm just putting it in this white box like this because it was an empty box sitting here and I figure why not? Like I no longer have to look at my ribbons anymore. So that works very nicely, but that leaves me with two empty of these. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Who cares? Less is good. Then I switched all my string into here, which I already had string in here, but these strings right here were in with my ribbons, which didn't make any sense. And then I switched my embroidery floss into one of these. They were in this square thing, um, and it's just coming loose and getting all over the place. So I did that, and that way I can stack these, which is nice. I have extra thread, and then these are just like more bracelet strings. These are those, I don't know if you're familiar, but paracord bracelets or whatever. We like to do those for crafts, so we have some buckles and some of the strings in there. So that actually looks nicer. And then my glitter and stuff pretty much stayed the same totally not going to clean out the glitter in the bottom of the thing. It's staying there. Um, and then I still have this from the beads. I did get rid of most of my beads, but I don't use beads a whole lot. My daughter does every once in a while. I just kept the ones I like the best and some wire and string and some little bead tool things in here. Good enough. I'll find a spot for that. I haven't touched that yet. I went through all four of these and cleaned them up. That one's actually empty too. So I have four empty bins right now, and then this will go back here, and I'll start working on this in a little while in the top. I'm a little overwhelmed. Two hours later. As you can see, I took a bit of a break. I really just needed to recharge before I got back at this. I think some of sometimes when I get like a project that overwhelms me, I would very much rather just avoid doing it than actually doing it. But I told myself that what I really need to do is at least, at the very least, go through these shelves. And that would put a really big dent in this project and hopefully keep me going and motivated for the next part.
So we're back. Honestly, it's probably been over a week. I cannot get myself motivated to come back down here and work. It has actually gotten worse since I've cleaned because we've been dealing with like school supplies and all the stuff we've gotten into recently. Um, so today is the first day in a while that we haven't had a ton of things going on. Golf season has just started. We're getting ready to go back to school in less than a week. So I'm using that as my excuse for why I haven't been down here, but today there are no excuses. It is disgusting outside. There is no golf today. I have no errands to run. I just need to focus on this basement. So we're going to go right back to it. I have mostly decluttered all these shelves behind me, and then I really need to go through a couple of the cabinets and just start putting stuff away and seeing if I can reorganize stuff. And then the other thing is I might I'm thinking about rearranging my desk a little bit and I'll share with you why in a little bit, but right now I'm just going to go ahead and keep cleaning. Okay. So I feel like this video is kind of negative because I am clearly unmotivated and just not wanting to do this and I'm tired. I'm feeling a little bit burnt out, but the reason I wanted to like share that with you and be honest with you is because I feel like all of us feel like that during times in our lives. And I would much rather just have you know that about me than me come on here and be like, this is great. I can't wait to clean my office. I love these projects, whatever, because that's not honestly how I was feeling. And I think it's like more motivating in my opinion to see people who push through when they're feeling the same way that I am. So sorry if this feels like a negative video, but once you get to the end, you're going to see, I am so happy and so satisfied with how this all turned out. So it's okay to feel not excited about a project, but just keep pushing through. And once you're done, you're going to be so glad you did. I'm gonna give you a quick little update because I've done some stuff without filming, but I had like my Sterilite organizer right there. Sorry about the air conditioning. Um, and I decided to go ahead and split that back up into two. That's how it came and I had just stacked it. And I moved those over into the gym area. And I think that's gonna be so much better because I wanna use this area possibly for this cabinet is my thoughts. Also the wall hanging stuff came down and you probably can see why now I had that step up because this is just disgusting to look at. Like I absolutely hate the foil insulation. So just know that paper will be going back up there. I also cleaned up this, which you guys saw, and I moved my printer paper and then all my sticker papers, photo papers, basically anything I print with over here because I use that stuff also with my vinyl. Like it's kind of one and the same with the crafts. So I thought it made sense to go there. So the cabinet doesn't look great, but um, it's functional. And then the floor is not terribly messy, but also not great. So I'll work on that here too. But first, before I do that and like tackle this nonsense, I need to clean. Um, 
it has just gotten so bad across my desk and stuff. And so I wanna clean that off because I need to sweep. And as you can see, there's just junk all over the floor. I started sweeping and I thought this doesn't make sense when my desk is so messy. So I'm gonna clean off this the rest of the way and wipe it down and then sweep next. So the reason I wanted to rearrange this office is because that one cabinet served as like a little island in my office. And I had put that there because originally my office actually spanned the entire length of this whole room where the workout part was and where my office is. And this whole part was my office. But when 2020 happened and everything closed down, we decided to go ahead and add a treadmill and the Bowflex so that we still had a space to work out. So I got pushed into half of the basement, which is fine, it was fine. But that was how I rearranged it with that island in the middle. And I wasn't using the island, like it was not useful to me there as a counter space. And it was just kind of awkward and crowded. And I just didn't like the way it felt. And then I also felt like I couldn't film as well as I wanted to in that space. So I really wanted to kind of open it up and just make it so that I can actually use this space for YouTube, if that makes sense, and also have an area to work for projects. So this part of my office is clearly the drop zone where I put everything that I just don't feel like putting away. And since I've been avoiding my basement, it has just gotten worse and worse. So thankfully today is just about putting everything away and um, a little bit more cleaning just to get the space back to the way I want it. Now on to my fabric. I have so much fabric here and most of this is such good, beautiful fabric that I don't wanna get rid of, but some of it is stuff that I have just kept thinking maybe I'll use it. For example, all that colorful stuff that I just put to the side, it was used for an event a couple of years ago and most of it got ruined because it was like a table covering and there was candle wax and stuff, but there are parts of the fabric that I thought maybe I can use that for something. Well, I'm not going to use it. So we're throwing it away and we're just gonna kind of refold up some of this stuff and make it fit nicer and make it so that I can actually access my fabric a little bit better. I haven't figured out a great way to store fabric in general. I've tried lots of different methods, but I just can't figure it out. If you have ideas about fabric storage, let me know in the comments below because it is one of the hardest things to store in my opinion. So for now, we're just sticking it in this cabinet, which is where it was before. It's just, it was very, very full and unorganized previously. Okay guys, I figured I'd give you a quick update. So I got this moved, all my fabric is in there. I moved my microphone over here and also my pegboard with my tools and stuff and my silhouette. 
So my silhouette, I'll be able to just like pull out and use. I can't do it with one hand. And then for my microphone, I can just bring my computer, set it right here and record my voiceovers right here. So that is very convenient. My microphone was here and it was in the way when I was trying to sew. So that will be nice. So this is all opened up. And then this I pared down quite a bit. And since I moved my pegboard, that's blank right there. So when I find some paper, I'm gonna cover all of this here and this background here. This stuff is all the decor I have that I'm going to work with. I may not use it all, but I'm gonna try to see, like choose from this stuff. That is where we are at. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to style these shelves and make them look sort of pretty. So I wish I had some sort of advice on styling bookshelves but I have none and I really had no plan when I went into this. I just knew what I liked as far as like the decor and I just kept playing and then once I liked something, I left that alone and the things that were just kind of iffy, I kept playing with those until I got to a point where I just liked everything, if that makes sense. That's probably not helpful at all, but that is what I did. So while cleaning out my office, I came across this rice paper. I actually used it a couple of years ago to make these paintings for a friend of mine, their dojo. And I had this entire roll left and it looked to me like there was enough to potentially cover these walls. So that is what I'm doing. I'm just measuring them to size. And then I'm just taking two thumbtacks and tacking them in one on each corner and just kind of letting it hang loose. paper this is like all that's left but it's not enough to do another round so of course they're out of it on Amazon so I ordered this which is literally half the size so <laughs> it's gonna take me twice as long to do this and it's actually a different um, texture but whatever we're gonna make it work hopefully it doesn't look too weird this is literally the last step in my office redo and then I will be sharing with you a little reminder of the before and then the after.
Okay guys, I'm gonna give you the official tour. Sorry again about the air conditioner. It's like 100 degrees out and I can't turn it off. As you saw in the before, the workout area is next to my office. So we have the treadmill and our bow flex right here. And then this is where I ended up moving my Sterilite containers. And then we have like a sound system down here so that we can play music, dumbbells, and some exercise equipment. That doesn't really matter. This is what matters. So as you come over here, you saw in the video that I moved this cabinet right here. It was like a center island, but it was just feeling so jammed. I'm so happy I did this. So when I moved this, like I told you, I moved my pegboard. This is where all my tools are. So I have hammers and screwdrivers. I have like nails and all kinds of like picture hang stuff and whatever screws, basically any kind of uh, little thing in those. And then I also have my sewing thread up here just because it's convenient and I can see it all. Saws, a square, my tape measure, and all of that stuff. And then also my silhouette and my microphone. So I can put my laptop right here and do my voiceovers right here, which is why I also have a chair in this cabinet. I ended up putting all my fabric and I know it doesn't look pretty, but I can see what I have down here and I can just pull it out as needed. Um, so it works for me. I have yet to find a good solution for fabric storage. So I'm sorry about that. Going to the left, this is obviously where my computer is. I do have my computer still underneath this cabinet here. And then I have a second printer. This is like our everyday printer. This is a printer I use for um, like, better quality documents. And also it's clearly a fax machine and copier. So it's a nicer one. My computer, and then I have obviously an Alexa and then a Bluetooth speaker. And um, I've shown these before, but basically it's just organizers and stuff. I usually have scissors there, but to the left of that, this is just meant for storage. And I do have some business stuff in this drawer, but those are empty right now, which is great because I'm sure I'll eventually have some things, but I wanted to keep this pretty minimal because it will eventually probably be used for storage. So I thought that that looked nice and still gave me storage options. Down in this cabinet is my sewing machine and then a sewing project that my daughter is working on. And then I ended up moving all of my sewing stuff right here, which previously it was on that side. So it makes more sense here as far as I am concerned. I ended up using the rest of these little organizers. I shared these in a previous video. I'll link them below, but they're just from Amazon. You can make any kind of divider with them, which I think is nice. So I just moved all my sewing stuff here so that that's convenient to my sewing machine. I usually lift that up right here and sew right here. So that will all be together. And then over here to my shelves. This is purely decorative. <laughs> Aside from these two, um, it's just meant to serve as a backdrop to my videos. You may have already seen one where I talk about my Amazon best and worst purchases. I love this. I hope you guys love it too, but um, I didn't want to spend a ton of money on it. So I ended up just printing out a couple of pictures and using frames I already had. I bought this bookend the globe from Hobby Lobby, it was $12.50, and then the storage box and that picture. So it wasn't a ton, but it was a little bit to kind of fill it out. Up there I have some like journals, blank journals, a lot of them, I think there's like 20 in there. And then I have nothing in there. So I have room to grow, also nothing in there that can be for storage as well. And then in here, I showed you some of this, but my Mod Podge and glitters. This is my wreath crafts, and then we just go to paints, spray paints, stains. Those are the blue containers that I was filling with all the odds and ends. I have my yarn, and this is like my watercolor and like calligraphy stuff. This is just miscellaneous crafts. This is office supplies, which is like my printer paper, and then I have some scissors in there. Um, these are like my art supplies, which are markers and colored pencils, watercolors, charcoal. Um, and then my string box, you saw that. These are all paints and paint brushes. Um, and then I just have, this has got large yarn in it. 
This one is where my ribbons ended up going. And then I have like fabric patterns and like cording and stuff like that in here. Lace, like odds and ends for fabric in this one. So I don't have to look at it, but it's all contained and organized. And then moving further left, um, I just did this little mirror tray just for something here because I had my pegboard here and this was very blank. So I thought it looked kind of nice. I'll probably change that out eventually. And then I have my Cricut um, heat press. I like that easily accessible and it's plugged in. So basically I just have to turn it on and use it. But the mat that I use with it, I ended up putting in this drawer. This is my wood burner. So that is very convenient to that, I think. Down here is my staple gun and my electric sander and sandpaper. And then I just have like glues and hot glue guns and a heat gun, stuff like that in there. Not pretty, but it works. This is where I had my sewing stuff, but I went ahead and moved my vinyl rolls in here, which I don't know why I didn't do that before, but it's nice. And then this is just like all my weeding tools for silhouette, hot glue, silhouette tools, expo markers, sharpies, scissors, tape, basically everything you can think of in there. And then below that, you saw this a little bit, but it did change um, my vinyl storage. I have a camera bag that I just stuck here, which I needed a place for it, so that worked. Behind that, I actually have a laminator, two laminators and some flocking, which I used to do my Christmas tree and wreaths. I have a video on that, it's so easy to do. I'll link it below so you can check it out, but it was actually my second video on this channel. So <laughs> I was very new to YouTube. Um, and then this is like my printer paper, sticker paper and stuff like that. I did have my roll vinyl down here, but since I moved it here, that freed up some space, which is why I could fit my camera bag in there. So that worked out really well. So that is it for this office clean out and makeover. I hope you enjoyed this. It was quite the project for me. It was hard for me to get motivated, but I was determined, not motivated. So if I can tell you anything or encourage you about anything, it would be if you have some sort of big project to do, you may not be motivated, but try to tap into your determination just to get it done. That is what I had to do for this. And I just can't tell you how much happier I am that it's done. I love it down here. I walk down here multiple times a day just to look at it because it's open and it's fresh and it's better, like it's more me and I just love it. So I'm hoping that you love this too. If you like this kind of content, leave a thumbs up. Also comment below your favorite part of this office makeover. I would love to know what you liked about it, even what you disliked. And um, if you have any suggestions or ideas or something I could have done better, I would love to know because I'm always looking for ideas. Also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. I have a ton of content coming up in the next couple of months and I would love to have you here with me. Thanks so much for being here today and I will see you guys in my next video.